Well, I'm gonna show you how to clean. Number of times, and yeah, it's ready. Are we going to put the starter? You have the banana trees in your the garden. And then we will wait for the result. You guys see my shadow, right? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing fine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare an organic tempeh. But of course, I'm not the one who make it. Okay? So for those who don't know what tempeh is, then let me tell you briefly about it. Tempeh is a very common dish in Indonesia. You can find almost in any supermarkets and restaurants. It is mainly made of soya beans. But in Switzerland, it's not that common and is becoming an upmarket product. But hey, did you still remember Vema, an Indonesian woman entrepreneur who runs her catering business in Geneva? If you haven't watched her videos, how she creates and runs her business while taking care of her family, then I suggest you watch them all. Links are in the descriptions. So today Vema is willing to share her experience in making the organic tempeh. Can't wait to see the process. You are not alone. But hey, as usual, I want to remind you all to click subscribe my channel and click the bell icon too, so that you won't miss the upcoming videos. Alright, now let's see how she prepares her organic tempeh. Uh, hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you how to make tempeh step by step. So first we have to choose kind of uh, grains what we, we would like to make. So for example, if we made by soya, soya bean, they have, uh, maybe you can found like already clean, like this, this without shell. And then perhaps you cannot find the clean one, you could find like normal. So it can be like this normal soya. And then also you can make with uh, other kind of seed like uh, green forces and also white bean. But this one is still uh, full of uh, shell. So you need to clean up and today I'm going to show you how to clean the shell. The shell. So this one sun Sunset, huh? uh -huh. yeah. And this one, pumpkin seed, and okay. also serasan, like this. This is all the ingredients for uh, making tempeh, uh, or it's different, different of what you like kind of grain, yes. or many kind of grain you can make it. So we take the grain for assemble the soya. We need the more time to shock in the water and then you have to stay minimum like three hours in the water and then after three hours they like, getting fresh and about the clean one maybe you maybe less time maybe like two hours ah and because the shell is already yeah uh, taken out yeah uh, this one is without shells yeah little and, yeah little. and this one is uh, with the shells and it takes more time when you soak uh, the uh, the soya yes okay. and then after three hours it's become the soya like this it's look fresh uh -huh. and become much much more bigger if you be comparing this one before mm -hmm. and after in the water so what to do after soaking three hours in the water and then so we have to boil we have to, of course we have to clean up mm -hmm. to rinse many times like maybe like four times. Or time rinsing. Yeah, really, oh. really clean. Okay. And then we boil maybe like around 30 minutes. Okay. Until uh, comes the you know like the foam, the bubble, the bubbles. Yes. yes. The bubbles comes out, and then that's main ready. And then for we keep with this water. Mm -hmm. With the hot water. It, yes, with the hot water because okay. already boiling. And then uh, keep like for one night. 
Oh, one night. Yes. Let's say night. twelve hours. Yeah, with the with the water. Yeah. Why take so long? Because we keep in the water after we cook to keep the 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 acid from the soya comes out. Ah, to get rid of the acid. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, after one night we rinse. Mm -hmm. We rinse with uh, with, uh, with the water yeah. until really clean and with uh, it's no more uh, like sticky ah. in the water. It's feel uh, like clean mm -hmm. like this. Okay, this after stay one night after uh, we clean. Now ready, we clean with the machine. If you guys have a machine, and then. Uh, now we're going to clean the shell. We put in the machine, mm -hmm. make like this. So we, you can use uh, this stop, machine you you the machine to clean the shell. Is right? Yes. Oh, there's it's still a shell there. Yeah. Ah, we need it's to clean the shell. Yes, I show you what kind of the type of the machine for the for this one. You see this one like for the chips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the cheese potato. Or okay. some, something else. We choose this one. That's more big. I think you you know how to use it. So this one is how yeah. to clean the shell. Yeah. We just do like this. Like, like. Okay, I'm not going to touch. But just show you how. She cleans the shell of the soya bean. So after removing the cells of the soya bean, um, she has to clean or she has to rewash the, um, the soya bean. The shell. Yeah, and to segregate the shells and the soya bean itself. So, yeah. The rest is uh, real soya, so yep. no more uh, uh, salt. Like this, we're doing till uh, really, really, really. Oh, guys, this is just all the cells that she removes uh, from uh, the soya. Where this is are. after cleaning the soya. You yeah. can see all uh, the the soya can be uh, can be seen here very clear. You know, yeah. yeah. See the water. Yeah. We still uh, rinse for the last uh, one. And she's going to rinse for the last one. Yes. Wow, a lot of process. This one for the last rinse. Did you like this? A really, really clean. And now. For the steam, steamer. For the steamer. Then we're going for the steam around 30 minutes. Around 30 minutes. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So this is going to steam the soja that has been uh, cleaned. The shell has been removed and rinsed for a number of times. And yeah, it's ready to be uh, steamed. Now we're going to do the next step. So. If you have uh, something like bowl, glass, it's possible to put uh, things here. But if you have kind of like bamboo or more easy, the air comes out. Ah, that's okay. the best way to make cool cooler. Right. Yeah, we do like this after we that really really cold. We uh, keep like that. After steaming. Yeah, after steaming. Yeah. So of course they are uh, still wet. Even they are cold but still wet. But more you put in the flat uh, place like this, more easy to getting dry. Are we going to put the starter, tempest starter? Right. So, now this one dry already. Well, this one for one kilo hmm, of soja. This is the starter of tempeh. This I made by myself. Ah, this is called starter of tempe. Yeah, it's, and this one the bio rice powder. 
Ah, uh, so bio rice powder. Yeah. Okay, it's like a flour. Yes, but you're gonna use this uh, rice uh, flour mm -hmm. that you prepare by yourself. It's full of a uh, teaspoon of rice flour. Okay. For so one kilogram of soja to make tempeh, you put one teaspoon of um, rice flour yeah. and then the starter. Yeah, and mix like one this. One uh, teaspoon of uh, starter. Mix it up. <laughs> I'm proud. Okay. And we, we do like this to strange, more easy, maximum mixing. Ah. Just okay. like this. And then the rest. So you will stir again or you just put like this? No, I put stay by manual by my hand. Okay. That's more confidence, more sure. Yeah. So until well mixed and then? Yeah, and yeah, just like this. Ah. But gently. <laughs> so, uh, what is the next step after mixing the starter uh, with the soja? Uh, ship. Shaping? Yes. Shaping. Ah, okay, shaping. Um, but before shaping, what are we going to do? Uh, uh, we will be using the things that uh, what we have, we have at home. Ah, okay. So if you like, you can measure how many you need the quantity or, the, or for the family or how many people I can use for once, like per day. So here I could use maybe like 100 or 150 grams. Also, you can use it like glass or tupperware, right. but better if you have any kind of. This one is uh, 39, 300. Now we have to put in zero. Oh, so okay. This one is so, yeah. yeah. Just like this. Ah, we what? use this uh, banana leaves. Banana leaves. Okay. I do like this. Why? Okay. Because. You squeeze the, the banana leaf? Yes, to make the sun layer whole. Okay. Murberry, yeah, Mur Murberry. Murberry, yeah. Murberry, yeah. Or either you can using uh, grape leaves. Mm -hmm. See, ah, for shaping, yeah, that's really yeah. nice. Many. If you have no banana leaves, you can go in the usually Asian store. Right, yeah. Home. But you have your banana leaves. You have you have the banana trees at, you in do. your garden, so yeah. you are using them. You exploit your resource. Yeah. <laughs> In the plastic, it's uh, the the most are easy fermented. Oh. Around four hundred, for example. Wow, yeah. It's around four hundred. That's four hundred nine, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> well, this bonus. Actually, bonus. This one, you using the plastic. Mm -hmm. This is very important. We have to do like hole like this. Yeah. You can do it many. Don't worry. So the next step, we prepare the like tray. Okay, like it's a tray. Yeah. yeah. We make something with the kind of this material. It's like cotton. The fabric. Yeah, yes. I think the bed is like cotton. Okay. If you take the what you have from the bed. Little blanket to make warm. Ah, to make this humid. Yeah. The, you ah, make okay. The air, and then you put like in the cupboard or uh, uh, in the higher place. Because if you, especially when you have kids, that's not really good idea. You put just like in the table like this, okay. and then we keep like this, okay? Now and see the result. Yeah. All right. So put uh, some more blanket. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So wow, I cannot wait to see the result. All right. So uh, this is the result for let's say 48 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a well a real tempeh you guys can see in the market especially if you are in Indonesia you probably uh, can hardly differentiate between uh, the tempeh, bio tempeh that is made by Vema Creation Restaurant the one I got inside? Uh, Super no. No. Wow! 
Yeah, this is the, the family for 48 hours. Yeah. Yeah, total. Mm -hmm. And you guys like to roll the bread? You can just eat like this with a salad. Yeah. It's quite good. Because it's cooked, huh? Yeah, it's cooked. Already. Yeah. And yeah. So guys, thanks a lot for being with me. I believe that you have seen the whole process of making the organic tempeh. Now, let me wrap it up, okay? To prepare the organic tempeh, what we have to do are as follows. The first step is that we select the grains with or without cells and you guys have seen the difference between those grains. And in this video, Bema selects the soya beans and she soaks into water for at least three hours. And the second step is that we rinse them well and we boil them into water for 30 minutes and leave it for 12 hours. During these 12 hours, the, the water help removing the acidity of the soya beans. The third step is that we remove the shells by using the machines and then we rinse them well so that uh, the shell can be separated. After that, we steam the soya for 30 minutes and then uh, leave them until they are cool. The fourth step is that we dry them up, either by using a hair dryer or tissue. In this video, Vema is using tissue or fabric that she places right onto the uh, kind of bamboo tray. And once they are completely dried, we can starter, uh, we can scatter the starter right on the on the surface, and then we stir it in a gently way. And the fifth step is shaping. This can be done in several ways. You can either use banana leaves if you have, um, or uh, jars, mugs, or in a worst case, you use a plastic bag. After shaping all the soya, we will need a tray as a base and some warm uh, fabric or materials to cover the soya and we will place it in a warm temperature room for at least 36 or 48 hours. And then we will wait for the result. Okay? And you can contact Vema if you want to make a workshop in Geneva. So good luck with your tempeh if you want to uh, give it a try at home. Okay? So if you like this video, please give thumbs up. At the same time, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to drop them down in the comment sections. Your comments, your feedback or appreciations on this topic is welcome too. Again, if you haven't clicked subscribe my channel and click the bell icon, please do that now. I'm Didi Rujavani. Thanks a lot for watching my video. I'll see you soon again. Ciao.